Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Clean Machine Live. I'm Jeff Palmer, the CEO and founder of Clean Machine. And before we get started, I'll go into the disclaimer. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So this topic is hormones and the plants and how these certain plants can help. Uh, the science, I'm going to discuss some of the science behind specific plants that may help optimize your hormones and reduce the negative effects of hormone imbalances. So I was watching uh, recently, Mike the Vegan, good, good friend. I enjoy having lots of conversations with Mike. He's been a good friend for a while. Love his videos. If you haven't checked out Mike the Vegan's channel on YouTube, you should do so. Uh, but a recent video he did on hair loss and DHT. Now, what is DHT? Well, before I get into it, I love Mike's videos, but he did not mention the best plant for actually blocking DHT, which is the Apuntia ficus indica flower. Now, the flower is the sex organ of the plant, so this is where it controls its hormone. And the Apuntia cactus is actually the most prodigious plant on the planet. It grows in extreme heat, cold, uh, almost 66% of the two thirds of the entire Earth's surface has uh, <laughs> these living cactus on it. They can survive anything, almost a nuclear holocaust as well, too. But they also do this really well because they control their hormones. And that's how they have uh, managed to survive so well throughout this. They have adapted to all these stressors by being very efficient with their hormones. Now, sometimes when a plant does this, it's for only the plant's benefit. But on certain occasions, you can consume these plants and actually gain some of the attributes that the plant is doing. And in this case, that's exactly what happened. So researchers were looking at this cactus flower and said, well, if it does this for animals, will it do it for humans? So they tested it. They ran two clinical trials to see how this flower would actually help control imbalances in, in human um, uh, DHT and estrogen. So let's talk. What is DHT? DHT or dihydrotestosterone is a metabolite of testosterone. Um, so this metabolite is changed from testosterone into DHT by an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. It reduces it to DHT. Now, DHT is an androgenic uh, uh, steroid hormone. So androgenic means andro, male, genesis, change, or birth. So this is what DHT serves as a purpose, especially in young men. Um, young males, I should say. So when males go through puberty, their DHT levels rise. This gives us a deepening of the voice. It adds to uh, body hair, facial hair. These are the things that DHT spurns. It basically helps men become a little bit more masculine. But once we become a full-fledged man, so to speak, we don't need that DHT, and naturally DHT levels should drop off tremendously in, in a typical male. When they don't, it can be a problem. So what happens? Well, a DHT can stimulate prostate to grow, grow, grow. Now, when you're in puberty, you want a little bit of that to happen. As you become a full-fledged adult, you don't need your prostate to keep getting bigger and bigger. As a matter of fact, it's called BPH or benign prostate hyperplasia. And you, some of you may have heard the term hyperplasia, which is actually growth. You want hyperplasia in your muscles because that's muscle growth. What you don't want is hyperplasia in tissues that shouldn't be growing. Because if you keep asking them to grow with stimulating them with DHT, grow, 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 the cells can grow rapidly and turn into cancer cells. And that's basically what a cancer cell is. One of our cells where the genetics has been basically told to grow, grow, grow so much that it begins to just grow in overdrive when it's saying, wait a minute, I'm not supposed to be growing, but if I'm getting this signal constantly, grow a lot. 
And unfortunately, that causes the mutation of the cells at the, at the genetic level and causes cellular growth in a rampant way, which is cancer. So DHT has been directly linked to prostate cancer. Okay, so prostate cancer. What does this have to do with hair loss? Well, DHT stimulates hair growth. That's why men who are in puberty, higher levels of DHT, facial hair, boom right? That stimulates chest hair to grow. That stimulates lots of hair to grow. Now, if you keep stimulating the hair to grow, 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 the receptor sites get burnt out by that overstimulation and the follicles can die, causing male pattern baldness. So DHT has been directly linked to male pattern baldness. As a matter of fact, most of the top drugs like finasteride, which is Propecia or Proscar, these drugs actually block DHT conversion. So this is pretty interesting. So this led to Mike's uh, video on what herbs could naturally be 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. Stop that enzyme from turning your testosterone into DHT, which then can lead to prostate issues, male pattern baldness, other negative side effects that you don't want. So how do you block that? So he listed a couple of herbs, but what he missed out on was one amazing herb. I'm going to put it up on the screen because it's the Apuntia cactus flower. This is a picture of the cactus flower on the right. If you're watching on Amazon, you won't be able to see this picture, but uh, the Apuntia cactus flower is the sex hormone of the plant. Now, this clinical research was done on in human cell studies, so in vitro human cells. And it found that it not only blocked DHT by over 80%, but it blocked the conversion of testosterone to estrogen as well. Now, why is this important? You can see the graph, of some of you, if you're watching on Facebook or later on YouTube, you can see the graph. The graph will actually show that it's reduced by 80% estrogen, the conversion of testosterone to estrogen by 80%, and the conversion of DHT to estrogen by 80%. Now, why is this important? Okay, so let me pull up this next slide and I will show you what's important. This is called the anabolic pathway. This is the pathway where your hormone, which starts out as DHEA or dihydroepiandrosterone, and this is a master hormone, can convert to lots of different hormones. This can convert into androstenedione, which is the direct precursor to testosterone. So enzymes convert it up the scale. And when you get to the mid-tier, a lot of that testosterone can actually be bound by sex hormone binding globulin. Now this kind of is a placeholder, holds it. And some of the rest of it is actually what we call free testosterone. Now free testosterone, it was actually what causes the anabolism, the muscle growth, the strength gains, the boost in libido, all the positive effects, the, that, uh, that uh, air of confidence, that uh, higher energy levels, better sleep, all these different benefits that both men and women get from testosterone. Now, women are hardwired to convert more of that testosterone to estrogen, and the men are more hardwired to convert more to DHT. The problem with just blocking DHT is that you have both going in two different directions. Think of it like a water hose, right? You want the water to come out the end nozzle. You want that testosterone to go all the way through the pathway and reach the muscle tissue and inhibit all those beneficial effects, dock at the androgen receptor site. So you want it to go on a straight pathway instead of taking those two detours by turning into DHT, which you can have negative effects on prostate and balding, or estrogen, which can cause fat gain, and cause mood swings, can cause lots of other issues too as well in both men and women. So you don't want those detours of your testosterone. You want it to stay there so that it creates all those muscle gains, the fat loss, the better sleep, the better sex, the better, all the good things that come from it. That's the good stuff without the negative side effects of the excess estrogen DHT. Now, why if blocking only DHT would not be such a good thing? Well, they've shown with just pure 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, those that block DHT, 5-alpha reductase is the enzyme that turns your testosterone into DHT. When you block that, it keeps it as testosterone. So you don't lose 
your testosterone. You have more testosterone, more total testosterone, more free testosterone without it converting to estrogen or DHT. Now that leaves you with more of the good stuff that you want for actually building muscle and all the rest of the benefits that you have for it. So what happens if you just block DHT, especially in men? What happens if you block that one without blocking the other hole, which is estrogen? Well, just like water going through a hose, when you block up one hole, water comes out faster the other hole, right? Well, that's kind of, in a nutshell, what's happening here. When you block just DHT, you actually get more estrogen production. And in a negative feedback loop, that actually can lower testosterone. So you don't want that. You don't want something that only blocks DHT, like rosemary, which is great at blocking DHT. But people who have taken rosemary in high doses have found a reduction in libido because it's producing more estrogen, which in turn feeds back in a negative feedback loop and lowers testosterone, which lowers sex drive. So you don't want that. You don't want to block just DHT. What the ideal thing is to block both the estrogen and DHT, making your testosterone maintain and stay as testosterone so it can do all the beneficial effects without the negative side effects. Now, why is this good for women as well? Well, this is the really cool part of it. So women, remember, produce testosterone as well. And women need testosterone for lots of things, including all the benefits that I mentioned, which is better body composition, higher fat to muscle ratio, better sleep, better mood, better uh, ability to heal and repair, all these different things. So you know, the question I get was, Jeff, but I'm a woman, uh, a woman would ask me, uh, if I'm a woman, why would I want to block estrogen? Well, let's get this clear. Your a, fem a woman's body makes most of the estrogen that you need for your body from your ovaries. Totally different pathway. Let me go ahead and remove this slide. So it's a totally different pathway. So the ovaries produce the estrogen that your body needs and fat cells. Fat cells actually produce estrogen for you. And that's why women carry it usually generally a, a little bit more fat because their body produces estrogen, which can create fat cells, which can produce more estrogen, which can create more fat cells. And this is why a lot of women have a hard time getting stubborn fat off and have a lot harder time gaining fat because you're getting into a fat which produces estrogen, which triggers more fat production, which triggers more estrogen. Which, and it's you can see how that cycle really builds to the point where women can have a, a, a hard time getting that fat off and, a, uh, and, and, and difficulties with the fact that they're actually adding, every time they're adding fat, they're adding more estrogen, which will actually create more fat cells. So this is... Um, um, so this is this is a big challenge with this um, with this um, situation, and that's why this product is so amazing. Let me pull that uh, that banner back up again here, because you can see here with the cactus flower blocking um, the DHT and the estrogen. Now you've got both inhibited, more of less fat gain less uh, hair loss, less risk for prostate, and more of the beneficial effects that you're really looking for. So what's cool is that I put this all together. So what you want to do is actually five different hormones. You've got you've got a DHEA. You want to up that, but you want to get your body to produce more. So when people take exogenous or, or steroid drugs, right? Like uh, steroid testosterone. What that does is you put that in your body and the body says, whoa, where'd that testosterone come from? I didn't make it. Okay, well, let's shut down our own production of testosterone. This is generally why guys, steroid users have to cycle. This is, means they go off of it for a while to allow their own testosterone production to come back up to normal. If they stay on testosterone too long, they can permanently suppress testosterone and then they'll have to stay on the drug for the rest of their life um, to have normal levels of testosterone. So not a good thing. So what you wanna do is use herbs to help your body produce its own testosterone, supportive of your body's natural function. Plus remember, this will never put you out of physiological range. When you take an ex 
an, an, a source of testosterone from outside the body and introduce it, you don't know if it's getting you into the right range. Remember, too much testosterone can force that conversion to estrogen or DHT because the body says, whoa, too much testosterone. Let's start converting it all over the place and create these negative metabolites that can end up causing gynecomastia or, or uh, hypogonadism, the shrinking of the testicles, all these negative side effects that can come with the drug use. Why I named my company Clean Machine and tried to encourage people to go the natural route, stay away from the drugs. You don't need them. Look. I am going to be turning 59 in a couple months. I've been a vegan for 36 years and 17 inch arms at 59, almost six, almost ready to enter in my 60th year of life. And I have 60 inch arms. And that's because I can keep my hormones at a good, healthy level, never out of balance, never too much. And this will help me promote my health as well as giving me the fitness levels that I'm looking for to enjoy my health drug-free as, as much as possible. There are great herbs within cell block 80. Uh, so let me talk about the other herbs. I talked about this Opuntia cactus flower, which is great at, at blocking both those estrogen and DHT. But there are five actual different hormones in the body that regulate this whole anabolic pathway. The first is DHEA. So ashwagandha, the KSM 66 that's in cell block 80, clinically proven, this is the actual um, herb that was studied, that was used in the studies at the dosages that it was used in the studies is in this so that you can guarantee that you're going to get similar effects as long as you're a healthy uh, um, and, uh, person. So this ashwagandha boosts the level of DHEA by up to 32%. That's amazing. Cortisol. Cortisol competes with testosterone and can inhibit it from binding. So what you want to do is reduce that cortisol. Well, both the cortisol, uh, the uh, ashwagandha in here reduces that cortisol. So when you're going up that anabolic pathway, sex hormone binding globulin or SHBG can bind to that uh, testosterone, making it inactive. That's what you don't want. So I put nettles in this to bind to that uh, sex hormone binding globulin so it can't bind up a bunch of your testosterone. That means more free testosterone can go do what it's supposed to do. Then you block it from turning into estrogen or DHT, and now you've hit cortisol, estrogen, DHT, DHEA, testosterone, free T, and your sex hormone binding globulin. You've modified all of those factors to optimize your levels of the hormones that you're looking for. This way, all of the hormones fall back into their natural balance using herbs to support your body, not tell it what to do, but to support your body and guide it back into a healthy balance of hormones, all of them, not just testosterone. If somebody tells you, oh, you just boost T and, and you gain muscle and they have all the benefits, it's not how it works. <laughs> this is the complex anabolic pathway of the human body. It's much more complex than that. Um, it actually goes even further than that, back to luteinizing hormone, pituitary gland, all that kind of stuff. But for our conversation purposes, I'm just gonna stick you there because that's enough science for one day. But that's what I put in there. And then I looked and found an amazing product, Intense. The active ingredient in this is called Rip Factor. And these are the two herbs that it uses. So uh, on the left of the screen, if you're watching uh, on Clean Machine Live, um, you'll see the East Indian milk globe thistle, actually not milk thistle, globe thistle, as well as mango bark. Now these two herbs together, what they did was something very fascinating. The, the, the folks over at PLT, which made combined this, looked at over 2000 different herbs uh, that actually had been shown to improve uh, muscle function, overall health, testosterone levels, all the things that go into uh, body fat percentages, all the things that go into good, healthy physical fitness. They put it into an AI, basically, data set and had it analyze all the data together, over 2,000 herbs, and came up with the best herb the best combinations that work synergistically together to give you the absolute best results based on science. Then they took it a step further and they tested in real time in human results. Here is what they found. I'm going to read it to you because it's 
mighty impressive. <laughs> um, let's see. Get the slide open. Okay. So in the published human studies, they found for muscle size up to four times increase and decrease muscle loss compared to placebo. Muscle strength up to five times increase upper and lower body. That's amazing. Increased lean body mass. That means lower fat to higher muscle ratio. Increased muscle endurance up to two times as many reps we're able to had by people when they're using rip factor. Increase cardio endurance. So even if you're not into lifting weights and you're a runner, a biker, a swimmer, four and a half times increase in cardio endurance. <laughs> That's phenomenal. Rarely do you find herbs in science that improve both uh, uh, strength style muscle gains, type two muscle fibers, as well as type one muscle fibers, which are cardio or high repetition, like running, biking, swimming, uh, basketball playing, sports, soccer, things like this. That's what you want the uh, type one fiber types. This actually does both, which is pretty phenomenal. And decrease cortisol 21%. Remember I told you about cortisol to testosterone. It, think of it like a seesaw. If cortisol levels go up, testosterone levels go down. If testosterone levels go down, cortisol levels will go down. Why is that? Cortisol is a stress hormone. And stress hormone goes, okay, wait a minute. You're going to need some immediate energy. So I'm going to go out and scavenge energy. I'm going to actually go break down everything, fat, muscle tissue, whatever I can get to get energy because you're going to need some energy. You're running from a, a tiger. Okay, so that would be, you know, appropriate. What happens in modern humans is we stress all day. We're drinking two or three cups of coffee. That stresses us. We stress out at work. We stress on the drive at home. And then we go into the gym and what do we do? We stress our body more with weights. So our cortisol levels are through the roof. You understand now why people have hard time sleeping is because their cortisol is stimulating the brain. Cortisol, that's one of the functions of the stress hormone, is to accelerate brain processes. Well, you don't want that happening, but if you got a ton of cortisol coursing through your body and into your brain, it's stimulating your brain to say, wait, 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 there's danger, 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 Will Robinson. <laughs> and you know that's not gonna help you sleep. And that's why this is shown to not only improve sleep, but uh, also decrease cortisol, because that cortisol to sleep, but also that cortisol to testosterone ratio. You gotta bring that stress down or that cortisol down so that testosterone, Testosterone has a fighting chance to actually do something in your body. I mean, you can boost it all you want, but if your cortisol levels are through the roof, you're competing against your own testosterone. Why do that? So that's amazing. And the fact that this was effective and showed these results in just two weeks, 14 days showed these results. That is fast acting. So I love the fact that we're using supercomputers and AI programs to go out and find the absolute best that nature has to offer in clinically published studies and then study it in humans to shoot, to make sure that it's actually doing this. And that's what you get in, in TENS, four clinically proven patented ingredients. That's it. Those are the four ingredients. None of the fluff, none of the, you know, 500 milligrams of creatine, which will do absolutely nothing for your body. None of that fluff, none of those little bunch of different uh, names of things on there that are in such a small amounts that are not doing anything to trick you into think, oh, wow, it's got all this cool stuff in it. No, just four ingredients, all four clinically proven, published human studies, all four patented, all four are going to give you results. And they are the best in class, best at producing nitric oxide, 230%, best at uh, increasing uh, hormone levels, 21% increase in free testosterone. That's the active testosterone that actually builds muscle tissue. That's phenomenal. So this product, along with these two together, if you're really looking to get into the best physical shape, reduce some of that body fat, elevate your muscle, muscle tone, your strength, become better sleep, better, just all of those benefits. You need to do it in a way that works with your body, allows your body to boost up its own levels, works in harmony and synergy using multiple plants that have beneficial effects 
not only for strength and muscle and fat and, 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 and all the good stuff that you want out of the gym, but health benefits like the, the Zynamite and this, which is made from um, mango leaf extract and the uh, Rip Factor is actually made from the bark. Both of them are very high in a phytochemical called mangiferin. It's, it's also in mangoes. So if you eat the fruit, the mango fruit, you're getting some mangiferin. A mangiferin can actually vasodilate, open up the blood vessels, and allow blood flow to you. So this is what they showed that this, the leaf of the mango and the bark really high in mangiferin allows that, uh, that NO production to happen, really open up the blood vessels, get that big pump on that you want, but also that's getting nutrients and getting oxygen and getting blood flow to the muscle, as well as getting all the waste products out and away from the muscle so it doesn't do damage to the muscle. So all of this science and research goes into the ingredients. I wait until there are phenomenal ingredients. Look, Clean Machine's been around for eight years. And just this year, we put out a pre-workout. Why? Because I wasn't going to put out just another crappy creatine beta alanine, you know, underdose product like everybody else has on the market. I wait until they're phenomenal, best in class, ingredients discovered that have clinically proven results to them. And then I build a product around that. That is why I waited until I found an absolute perfect <laughs> pre-workout to work with. These are the ingredients that I look for and I build products so that you can use them and have the best that nature has to offer. Not just build some crappy products because that's what everybody else is doing just to make money. Look, if I were in this to make money, I would have made a lot more money selling crappy products just like everybody else does. That's not what I'm about. I am about finding the absolute best that nature has to offer and giving that to you because I want you to succeed in the gym. You know, when I was at, uh, when I was uh, uh, the uh, senior buyer uh, for all supplements for 24 hour fitness, the largest gym and fitness uh, chain in the world. So I was there and we did a, they did a study and they said, what is the number one reason people stop going to the gym? Number one reason, I don't get results fast enough. And that's disappointing because I know how important physical fitness is to our health. It lowers our body fat. It improves our cardiovascular system. It improves our immune system. It improves so many health faculties. I want to pe I want to help people stay in the gym. So in order to stay in the gym, you got to get results. So that's why I'm combing these studies constantly, looking for ingredients that will give you the absolute best results so that you can use them get results, stay in the gym, stay physically fit, and stay healthy so you can enjoy your life to the fullest. Not start getting disease states, you know, and, and falling apart by the time you're 50 years of age. I'm almost 60. I'm in the best, best shape of my life. Uh, you know, I won, uh, won uh, awards. Uh, first place in, in bodybuilding, natural bodybuilding, first place in natural physique. In my 50s, I mean, this is amazing, going against guys half my age. And that's okay. That's great. But I want to give that, I want to pay that forward to you guys out there so you can get this. I'll do the research. If you've got questions, lay them down in the text, and I will be happy to answer them. Uh, if you are inspired by this, please do share. This is how I help get this information out, is I really want to get this information out so that people have the best information that they can make empowered choices that help them get the results that they're really looking for and, and stop wasting their money on products that won't get you results that are just designed to make profits for the big companies i don't care about that to be honest if i didn't make a single cent i'd still be doing this because i love it and i'm passionate about it and i want to help people get healthy that's why i named my you know, company clean machine. I want you to keep this machine, this amazing miracle of a biological machinery that is so incredible. That is trying so hard to stay alive, no matter what you do to it. And it's trying to heal itself constantly. What other machine is, is that besides biological life that is constantly self-healing, no matter what you do to it, you should be thankful for that. But 
when you can put in the right herbs, the right nutrition, and give the body what it really needs, it can do incredible things. And that's what I want for you and for your life. And that's why I do what I do. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned more about this. If you have any questions, this is a great favorite topic of mine. Cell Block 80 was one of the was the first product I ever designed because it wasn't available to anyone in the marketplace. And I wanted to make this product more available to more people. The same with some of these other ones. These are really expensive ingredients because there's published human data on them. And I only use the four backed by human published studies, backed by patents. These are a lot more expensive, 10 times or more expensive than the cheap in Chinese ingredients that most people are using in their pre-workouts right now. But I do this because I want the best for you. And I want the best for me too. I'm using it all the time and getting great results, but I want that for you as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Catch me each week, every Thursday at 4 p.m. right here. Think Machine Live, Amazon Live, or you can watch it later on uh, YouTube at Clean Machine Online. Thanks for watching.